What is a partnership? A partnership is a relation that subsists between persons carrying on a business in common with a view to profit. This organizational structure came into being at common law and has since been codified in provincial partnership legislation, such as the Alberta Partnership Act. At both common law and under the Alberta Partnership Act, for a partnership to exist, there must be one, more than one person, two, carrying on a business, and three, with a view to a profit. The absence of any one of these three elements will result in a partnership having failed to be formed. The Alberta Partnership Act also specifies particular business arrangements which may or may not result in the existence of a partnership. Section 3. The relationship between members of any company or association who constitute a corporation under any law in force in Alberta is not a partnership in the meaning of this Act. Section 4. In determining whether a partnership does or does not exist, regard shall be had to the following rules. A. Joint tenancy, tenancy in common, joint property, common property, or part ownership does not of itself create a partnership as to anything so held or owned. Whether the tenants or owners do or do not share profits made by the use of it. B. The sharing of gross returns does not of itself create a partnership. Whether the persons sharing the returns have or have not a joint or common right or interest in property from which or from the use of which the returns are derived. C. The receipt by a person of a share of the profits of a business is proof in the absence of evidence to the contrary that that person is a partner in the business but the receipt of the share or of a payment contingent on or varying with the profits of the business does not of itself make the person receiving the share or payment a partner in the business. And in particular, one, the receipt by a person of a debt or other liquidated amount by installments or otherwise out of the accruing profits of a business does not of itself make the person a partner in the business or liable as a partner. Two, a contract for the remuneration of a servant or agent of a person engaged in a business by a share of the profits of the business does not of itself make the servant or agent a partner in the business or liable as a partner. 3. A person who is a surviving spouse or adult interdependent partner or child of a deceased partner and who receives by way of annuity a portion of the profits made in the business in which the deceased person was a partner, does not by reason only of the receipt become a partner in the business or liable as a partner. 4. The advance of money by way of a loan to a person engaged or about to engage in a business on a contract with that person that the lender shall a. receive a rate of interest varying with the profits or b. receive a share of profits arising from carrying on the business does not of itself make the lender a partner with the person or persons carrying on the business or liable as a partner, so long as the contract is in writing and signed by or on behalf of all the parties to the contract. 5. A person receiving by way of annuity or otherwise a portion of the profits of a business in consideration of the sale by the person of the goodwill of the business is not by reason of that receipt a partner in the business or liable as a partner. Unlike corporations which are conferred by statute the capacity and the rights, powers, and privileges of a natural person, general or ordinary partnerships are not a distinct legal entity. Furthermore, in the province of Alberta, it is legally mandated by the Alberta Partnership Act that a general partnership must be registered with the provincial government through Service Alberta. Where the individual persons, partners, have undertaken to participate in the management of said business endeavor without distinguishing the relative legal responsibilities of each partner, such a legal construct is known as a general partnership. In a general partnership, each of the individual partners has unlimited liability for the debts and obligations incurred by the other partners, and each of the partners is responsible for the actions of the other partners. Each of the partners is also a participant in the profits realized from the business of the partnership. 
And as this makes evident, there are substantive responsibilities and legal considerations associated with operating a general partnership, which benefits greatly from the engagement of knowledgeable legal counsel and the implementation of a partnership agreement to structure and manage its business. For more information as to how our law firm can assist your partnership's organization and business activities, visit our website and contact our law firm. Thank you.